This would be a good start <laughs> for the video. I mean, it's app, right? I'm Yin. I'm Fiona. And this episode is slightly different because you have seen everything on the table. Yes, and because today we're going to talk about something that is very important for every one of us. It's your crown of glory. We're going to talk about hair today, particularly if you are experiencing a bit of a, you know, naturally thinning hair or your hair is thinning. Mm -hmm. I think this would be the episode for you. Yes, Let's so, get started, shall we? Yes, if you like the video, remember to hit the subscribe button and switch on the notification. Let's go. Three, two, one. Okay, so this episode, right, mm. uh, we're going to talk about something that's very close to our heart. Very is, intimate, actually. Yeah. Very personal. Mm, so it's hair. Yes. And I think one common thing that we both uh, have or experiencing mm. is really a thinner hair than uh, the average person. <laughs> oh my god, that's so serious and sad. No, no, no. I know. I, let, let me just reframe this. Let me reframe the conversation. Okay, okay, okay. okay. We are blessed to have <laughs> hair. Yeah. Uh, except that, you know... Um, it could be better. <laughs> yeah. You always want to be better. Maybe I shall start mm. with a question. Uh, when do you realise that your hair is, you know, thinner than average? I think quite early on, possibly in my 20s. Mm -hmm. And if you have not noticed, right, I mean, if you've been friends with me for a very, very long time, I have my bangs for the longest time. The reason why I have bangs is also because my hairline is actually very, very high up, so I have a very high forehead. Sometimes it will feel like I, I have a lot of, um, you know, what we call property here? Room space. <laughs> Room space. High ceiling. Yeah. Yes, high ceiling situation. Um, yeah, so my, my bangs is actually one of the ways that um, mm. I deal with my sort of uh, uh, fine hair situations. Yourself? Okay. Um, it was in my last year of poly. Oh wow! Nineteen okay. twenty years old. Wow. So I think I went to my stylist mm. uh, for haircut, mm. and then she asked me, "Oh, do you just have an operation on your head?" I was like, "What? Ouch. No." She said, "Oh, you know, there's this little patch here." Oh, no, okay. I was like, I, I, I was like secretly rolling my eyes, la. Yeah. I was like, she's trying to sell me products. <laughs> right, because we're, we're, we're teenagers, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I was like, so I ignored her for right. quite a while. Until when I was uh, about to be enlisted in the army, mm. then I realised, hey, my hair is really thinner because the parting is wider uh, than before. Previously, okay. I had very thick hair. I used to have very, very thick hair also when I was a lot younger. And mm. I keep thinking, you know, why is it my hair so boom? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. But I'm glad yeah, we're talking yeah. about it because I think mm. maybe it's not something that a lot of people mm. um, are willing to talk about yep. that you're battling, you know, like like ourselves, right? With mm. either thin hair or thinning hair. Right. So with that said, how, how has your journey been like? Mm. So I think the very first thing which I did was to really see a trichologist. Um, well, they told me that uh, in terms of her hereditary problem, meaning right. that uh, if it's not stress related, not food related, mm. right? If uh, either of your parents, either your father or your mother, mm. has hair loss, mm. a son will definitely get hair loss. Uh, for ladies, mm. the doctor said uh, if uh, both of your parents yeah. um, have thin hair, then you will have thin hair. Yeah. So ladies are slightly luckier. You need both parents to have thin hair yeah. uh, in order to. Um, and both, my, that, yeah. and both of my parents, um, they have thin hair, actually. Mm. But back then, the doctor really said uh, medication is the way. Okay, right? okay. So it's, um, I, I, I think I started taking Propatio very early. Okay. So it's probably the only, back then, the okay. only uh, so-called um, medicine or medication that you have for thinning hair. Okay, so did you see mm. any improvement upon taking the medication? So the doctor said that you just continue taking it, it will kind of like retain the current state of hair. Okay, that's good. But once you stop taking it... Will you drop more? Uh, within the first three months of not taking it, it will be the same. Oh, wow, okay. But once you stop taking more than three months, it will accelerate your hair fall. Oh, wow, okay. Meaning that it will just catch up with whatever that you're supposed to lose. Mm. For myself, I, I didn't do the medication um, route in that sense. Mm. I'm, I'm very grateful that I found a stylist as well as a friend. She's a friend first, and then after that, she became my stylist. Mm. And this whole look that you see here, she gifted me the short bang, mm. you know, and that kind of also became my signature look along the way. So today, we're going to share two things. Mm. First is really our daily routine, mm. how we actually so-called manage our thin hair, yeah. try to make sure that you know, the hair stays 
as thick as it is. Voluminous. Yeah. Um, <laughs> then the later part, we're going to share um, any special treatment that we actually have tried mm. and kind of like share our review whether mm. it works and it doesn't work. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so maybe I'll start with my daily yes. routine. Apart from shampoo, um, the thing that I uh, do on a regular basis mm. is really the laser cap. Um, what is thing? This? Okay, so this is uh, a brand called Eye Restore. It's actually a, uh, a laser... Uh, sort of like a laser cap where it actually so-called um, improve the blood circulation of the scalp. Looks so cool. Uh, keep the follicles alive. Okay. Uh, improve the density of the hair. Uh, it's actually a low density laser. If I remember correctly, I'm just going to put it down here. Um, so what Can it I does? Put it on? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. So what it does is that this is the second na second generation oh. of this cap. <laughs> She's quite heavy. It's quite heavy. It's quite heavy. Yeah. So this is the second generation. It comes with a lot more laser outlets. Uh, so later we can show you the first generation. Uh, it works pretty much about the same. It is just that in the cap itself, uh, you will not see so many laser bulbs. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, so what it does is that uh, you have to do this 25 minutes every, every alternate day. Days. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I can't so like, I do every day. Uh. Every morning I wake up, right, after I wash my hair, everything, like, I have my breakfast, I just put it on. Or just, I like, put it on, then start, you know, reading newspaper and everything. Yeah, so there's a timer here. <laughs> anyway. So guys, the next time, if you look into a window and you see some, you know, one putting on the cap and reading papers, so you know that's it. Yeah, like a bike helmet. Um, so this is supposed to really, actually this is more of a scalp maintenance. Yeah. This normally takes around six months to see results. So how long have you been using this? Uh, I started last year September. Wow. Okay. So I'm in my ninth month. And how has that worked for you? Okay, to be honest, right, uh, I've never paid attention to my scalp. One. Really? I thought mm. that's the first thing for anyone with thin hair situation. I always mean? take care of the hair. Like, I never think that the scalp is that's something that... That's interesting. Yeah, so that's where, yeah. that's where our difference is. You take care of the hair, I take care of my scalp. Mm. Okay. So there was a period of time, I think I, uh, I've been to those scalp tests before. Yes. They always say my scalp is very inflamed yeah. or very sensitive. Yes. Um, and it's very red. And that's why hair fall. Mm. So yeah. I think the recent check, I went back, um, I will share a little bit more later yeah. because I did a hair check recently. Mm. I see, uh, they told me the scalp is a lot better so okay. and so forth. So I guess it's a lot of uh, contributing factors. I, okay. I assume that this is going to be one of them. Mm. Uh, Possibly because it's stimulating mm. blood circulation and all. Yes. Yeah. Uh, if you want to invest in this. How much is that? This is 1000 plus. What? Mm. Sing? Sing lah. Then you think R&B. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know, those days, you know. Uh, so, um, you know, so apart from the laser cap, right, yeah. um, I also do a sort of like a weekly scalp mm. uh, maintenance. So this is uh, PHS uh, Hair Science. So they have this duo, right, which is a hair scalp, uh, hair scalp, a scalp exfoliator. Okay. You know, there's a lot of things that we put on our hair, yes. you know, styling product yeah. whatsoever, or even things like serum secretion. Mm. Um, so the idea is to really exfoliate and to get rid of any uh, build-up because it might affect the follicle, affect the growth of the hair. Uh, so for this particular serum, right, <laughs> is it very tight? Is it, I need to go to the <laughs> gym. <laughs> so for this particular serum, right, is that, um, oh, uh, it actually, although it's an exfoliator, right, it's actually in a uh, very, yeah, it's actually more like a serum. Okay. So what you do is that you apply onto your scalp, massage it into your scalp, leave it on for 15 that minutes. Smells nice. The smell is amazing. I love their product. The mm. product is always very botanical nice. Botanical base? Mm. Yes, I'm botanical guessing, yeah. base. Oh. Then comes the scalp mask. Oh. Mm. So actually, mm. you can apply on your scalp, this one? Yes. Oh. So these two products are nice. scalp base. And I have to say, right, I hardly pay attention to my scalp. With these two products, right? Yeah. Do you see an improvement? Not what only the scalp this? gets better, the, the hair, hair condition also mm. gets better. Yeah. Uh, then the last thing that I use on a regular basis is really a uh, hair tonic. Um, so I've also tried um, uh, application like Rogaine. If you are a guy and you are boarding because of hereditary issues, okay. it only helps in terms of the patch at the back. Oh. Mm. So today, if your situation right is receding hairline, which is like an M shape, yeah, that medication has no help. But on the other hand, this brand uh, is actually called DS Laboratory. They actually came up with DS Laboratory. Mm, they came up with this hair tonic, right? Uh, which is first of all, it's unisex. Uh, previously, for that particular Rogaine, uh, they have a male and female version because it affects the hormones. Okay. But this particular product, right? It claims that it, it helps receding hairline as well as the patch at the back. This is like on the pricier side. Mm. Um, two bottles. One bottle costs around sing coming to eighty something. Okay. Yep. 
so this is something which I'm still trying. I'm in my first month. Okay. But I have to say in terms of the after few, mm. um, this is much better than Rogaine. And okay. we gain that range of yeah. product. Agreed, mm. agreed. Yeah. So the main ingredients in terms of the products that, or at least on a daily basis of what I use, right, is actually this herb. I don't even know how to pronounce it in English or what's the English word for it. It's actually shou la. Her her shou. Shou, yeah. yeah, so basically it's a, it's a, it's a Chinese Huh? It's actually a, a, a tree bark. Yeah, right? That, that helps bark. to yep. sort of um, not only uh, boost, I suppose, boost hair growth mm. and also it helps to uh, keep white hair mm. uh, at bay. Darkens Yeah, your darkens hair. your hair. So I have this shampoo that I use and it's from this brand called um, Bichu Origin. Mm. So it's actually started by this uh, entrepreneur, this lady by the name of Bichu. So she started many, many years back um, essentially doing... Um, hair growth and maintenance treatment uh, for people in their homes la. and then after that she basically started a whole empire raised her children that story for another day <laughs> so essentially I, I got introduced to this range of products a couple of years ago when I randomly texted my best friend and I said okay this is getting serious right whatever, whatever I've been doing for the last couple of years to maintain I find that I'm dropping more hair like I literally can feel like I'm dropping hair and I don't know what to do with it and then she was like telling me, oh my god, you got to check this out. And she sent me pictures of her pre, uh, you know, treatment photos and post treatment photo. And she just uh, had um, her second child. Mm. So clearly, you know, hair loss was something she was battling with, with hormonal changes and everything. So the next thing that I will do on a regular basis, and I do this maybe three times a week or twice a week, depending. So you can tell I'm almost at the end of this particular bottle and I lost the, the cap anyway. So again, this is from um, Origin. It's actually the hair tonic. Yeah, so it's quite similar to, to what you have as well, hair tonic. Um, so this one, again, the main ingredient is the shou wu la. I think it has a bit of an alcohol content as well, I believe. Okay. Um, so I have gone through maybe about, I don't know, four to five of this wow. already. Yeah, and I like it because Interestingly, what you just mentioned about yours applies to this as well. Because, you know, like the whole regain thingy, it flattens your hair. You know, for this one, right, the next day you wake up, uh, your hair is poof one air. Like, you can literally feel the roots lifted. It's very herbal. Uh. Mm. Yeah, it has a certain scent to it. Yeah. So you can feel the roots actually really lifted the next day and it's very soft and fluffy. So this other product that I have, Treats the lower part of the hair right. uh, that makes it the way it is like much of a lot of hair right like a helmet uh, which is this one from uh, K18 so I've used a lot of uh, similar products but this is the one that lately I gravitate towards mm -hmm. uh, reason being is that it's super lightweight on the hair yes. a little goes a long way and clearly not like a lot of hair so a little bit will do um, and it really smoothen out the hair and really straighten the hair the, the moment you blow dry it right you run your hair through, there's like no weird situation. In fact, today I a bit extra luck because we're filming, right? So I, I actually did like the straightener. But if not, with just this and blow dry, mm. that's it. Okay, so now we have shared, you know, what we use on a daily mm. basis. Uh, we will talk a little bit more about like special treatments yeah. that we have tried. Mm -hmm. So maybe I'll start with mine. Um, okay, so I think it was... Three months ago, yeah, three months ago, I went for this uh, procedure called Regenera Activa. Mm -hmm. It's basically taking your uh, good hair follicles mm -hmm. at the back of your neck, mm -hmm. um, extract it, okay. spin it <laughs> uh, to take out the stem cells and to kind of like inject it all over across your scalp yeah. uh, to kind of like boost the existing follicles. Yeah. Uh, to come up with thicker hair, mm. you know, growing more hair out from the follicles. Mm. Mm. Is it painful? I cannot, okay, I have to say, right, I have very high pain tolerance. That is true. And that one was painful. Was painful lah. Was painful. Oh my god. Um, so what they do is that there's this uh, sort of like hole puncher. So imagine, Ooh. right, this is a scalp. The hole puncher Ooh. goes in. And grab. Uh, they won't grab. <laughs> Uh, but it's not all the way in. Probably it's like a few mm thick. Yeah. That means it's deep enough to, to, to scrape. Extra, yeah. uh, Ooh, to scrape, scrape. the oh. follicles oh. out. Oh, wow. So okay. that area will never go hair again. So when it goes in right, I could totally feel the, the whole bunch of scraping the Ooh. follicle. Yeah. But before that, they will shave. They will shave this area. Okay. Yeah. To me, it's, the pain level is an 8. Uh, 8 to 9. Wow. Okay. But I really feel that I can tolerate pain, but that one I really I have okay. to clench my teeth very. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so they will take out, they will put into this machine, spin it. Mm -hmm. uh, then a vow of 
liquid came out lah. Mm. So then they start to inject all over, or especially places where you know your like hands needle are little, like, injection. Yeah, yeah, needle oh, injection. Wow. Okay. And that was painful. I can imagine lah. Uh, everything took maybe less than an hour to finish. Okay. Uh, can't wash hair for the first twenty-four hours. Okay. Um, this procedure, right? Um, they would generally uh, not encourage, uh, but advise that you could do once a year. Uh, but you still have to continue with, with whatever medication yeah. and uh, hair care right? yeah, that mm -hmm. is a must. Uh. Okay. What is the most optimal time that this procedure would have like, in terms of results? Yeah. She said uh, normally it's nine months later, where the okay. hair cycle, you know, you fully start to have uh, grow, uh, hair growing up from the follicle. Okay. Yeah, so my next check-in is going to be six months later, which okay. is exactly nine months after the procedure. So I, for me, and the, the story continues from what I was saying earlier about my best friend, right? Who told me, you know, mm. the treatment that she's been going, the product she's been going post childbirth. Mm. And I think I was very sold. Um, I went to Bichu, which is the origins, which is where my products are from. Um, so I do this uh, treatment where it's, a, it's, it's basically a herbal treatment. Uh, not as painful as yours because essentially you go in there and... Um, you relax and enjoy. <laughs> you really relax and enjoy. But you got to manage your expectations, okay? Because uh, there is a old school vibe about this place which mm. I love but also at the same time, each time I go there and I grab a picture and I send him, I'm like, last warning on uh, the wallpaper. So last warning on uh, the wallpaper. It's like the Yakun of hair salon. <laughs> yeah, you could almost say that but all of us want the Yakun and toast box meal, yeah, right? Yeah. Kind of thing. But my, my whole point in the... In in this is that um, you go there, it's very fast free. Mm. Okay, you go walk in there, there's only that one hair treatment for you. Mm. That's all. You choose either the color or the colorless. So the difference between the two is if you take a colored one, it essentially means that the, the herbs itself, uh, they've actually boiled or cook, cook it, boiled it or prepared it for a longer period of time. Okay. Colorless means it's prepared slightly lesser. So I always go for the colorless because I... I didn't want to walk out, you know, having orange hair. So I, I, I is it really orange? Okay, so I want to say this, right? Because I have uh, some older friends who, uh, the ladies lah, who have dyed their hair before, right? Okay. But then the more they dye, the more they dye, they realize that the white hair keeps coming. And then they keep dying, keep dying, they keep dying. And then when they go to Bichu, right? They go for the colored version. So the hair dye chemical that's still left on your hair, plus the herbs, right? It actually has a, a, a funny chemical reaction that turns the, the hair orange. Just going there, the person like, like cleanse your scalp, give you a little massage, mm. and then apply the paste all over. And then after that, you imagine uh, in the 70s, okay? If it's too long ago, you just imagine on Google. Okay? Uh -huh. When you go to a hair salon, and then they have this thing like... Da -da 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 steamer, right? Yeah. Like a steamer thing for your hair. And then after that, you steam it maybe about 45 minutes. Oh, so long. Uh. Yeah, and then after that, they wash it off. And then, um, you know, they basically wash off the, the, the paste and everything, right? And then you sit down. You think they will style your hair? No, how, my friend. They just <laughs> blow, 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 right? And it's supposed to be like 50% dry. And then you walk out of the place, right? Having like semi damp hair. Because you just finished the treatment. Yeah. And for the best optimal results of the herbs to, to sort of, you know, really absorb into your scalp. Right. So they recommend that you don't dry your hair fully. So, um, when I first went there, I did, uh, you know, they did like a scalp check. Yep. And each follicle, right, if it's a healthy hair, you would have about, uh, I think, six to eight mm. hair strands in one follicle. So if it's very, very bad, it's probably one to two, mm. right? Uh, and then on average, I think most of us would have three to six. Mm. I think that's about the average. La. So I had about, yeah, I had actually each about two to three. Mm. So actually, it's, it's, it's very serious really, it's about two to three. So when I took my first sort of results, right, at the six-week mark, this is what I saw. So first of all, I saw that the, the scalp that was closed up, you know, you could see a layer, right, on mm. that, that, that um, paw, right? Uh, it was definitely cleansed, it was open. So you can see like, it's like a dented in, like ready for a new growth. Mm. Yeah, so that was the first thing I saw, which is great. You know, I'm like, okay, so the, the, the scalp is ready. And then I also saw like, you know, the ones that got two to three strands. Interestingly, I saw like those like little ones mm. that were growing. I mean, they are not like mature hair yet. Like, so it's like little, little, like furry um, yeah. ones. And then I was like, okay, this is great. I don't need a full hair, like, you know, full hair situation, but at least I see some improvement. 
So we have shared what I have been using on a regular basis to maintain our hair and also the treatments that we've been to. Mm. So I uh, really hope that you know whatever we have shared is able to help you to make a more informed decision you know, yes. going forward. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, Remember? it's such a serious episode. <laughs> No, but look at it this way. This is your crown of glory. Yeah. So I think it's important to take very, very good care of it. Yes. And whatever it is, please stay happy and know that, you know, it's not the end of the world because there are many things that will be able to assist you and hopefully you'll find something in here. And most botal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so thanks for watching and we will see you in our next episode. See you.